Hey everyone, Alex Stradling here, Executive Director of Falls Area Community Television. And here, I'm going to give you a little tutorial about what to expect on New Tech's Software Advanced Edition 3. So if you're a TriCaster Mini owner, like ourselves here at Falls Area Community Television, um, here, we got the TriCaster Mini. I think it's a, an older model. I think they got a newer one. This is the HD4 SDI. I think they got a newer one out, but it was purchased uh, two years ago, along with the Surface here. Uh, we had Advanced Edition, Advanced Edition 2 uh, on here. So if you don't know anything about TriCaster, uh, you know, they provide switching hardware and software, supposedly integrated together to work uh, perfectly so you don't have to, you know, worry about configuring any hardware and having the software to work appropriate with, with you. So, uh, you know, they've been in the broadcast field for many years. And so, yeah, we purchased the TriCaster Mini uh, for two years from New, uh, two years ago from New Tech, and it's worked pretty well. But there's some major, major things I want to discuss about the new Advanced Edition Three. So I paid nine hundred and sixty-five dollars to upgrade to Advanced Edition Three. You know, there's some new features that I wanted to uh, try out and to be able to have on the TriCaster Mini, uh, but that upgrade actually turned into a downgrade. So. You know, one of the biggest things that I have an issue with is I'm paying $965. I know it's more if you just purchase the software outright uh, clean, but if you're upgrading, it's a little bit less, but it's still $960. I'm pay we're paying for the software, $960, to upgrade, to have more features, to work more efficiently with the hardware that they created right here. Um, and this, is, this happens a lot with companies. I don't understand this. If I'm paying you money, your software should work with your hardware without any problems whatsoever, okay? I pay $965 for this crap right here. Look at this, okay? The TriCaster 40C. Now, yes, I understand. Maybe this is an older model. The vendor handed me off an older model. We still pay $2,500. Uh, for this and I got to put tape I got to put tape on this piece of hardware so because they re reconfigured this to work differently and they bury this in their manual okay so they do a little update checker and they say oh let's see if your hardware will work with the new software and it says everything's fine everything's fine to go yes I uh, that's great. Oh, so when I upgrade the software, it should work fine. It should, if I'm paying $950 and I purchased your hardware, this board here, okay, I know that this is plan, plan obsolescence right here, but even though this is an, an older board, you, the software, the company, should take into account the older equipment that people have ha had, the ones, and it should automatically recognize that I have this board. It should adjust this the virtual switcher here to correspond to the board or let me move these buttons around to correspond to this board or the software should just say hey you got this board we'll have a different layout here but these buttons are going to function the same way okay they're it's going to work exactly the same way no no they say oh well, unfortunately the layouts for the keys on the TriCaster Surface uh, 40C, um, you're going to just have, this is the new layout and you're just going to have to put stickers on here. Look, you're just going to have to put tape on here to redo the layout. We have no other options. Well, our, our more expensive boards, we have options. You can map the keys out. Our more, you know, our, um, you know, third party boards, you know, you can, you, you can customize the keys. But no, no, not the hardware that we sell you, this $2,500. This is really expensive for cheap. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You pay $2,500, and then you upgrade software, or the software, move, you know, they do an update to the software, and then they just make their board obsolete. So that's just a total waste of money. What it says is they don't give two craps about their customers, or their old customers, or new customers. I paid $965 for an effective piece of software. That software, if I'm paying you money for software and you're a hardware and software company and you're integrating your software into pieces of hardware that you've designed and created specifically for your software, this, this, look at this, 
This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Your software should recognize this device and it should automatically correspond to the keys on these device if they're printed keys like that. It should know that. I shouldn't have to worry about that, especially if I'm paying 960 bucks. This is unacceptable. Why would I want to ever purchase a piece of hardware from New Tech if they aren't going to integrate their new software to older hardware? Why would I want to invest money in any of your cameras, any of your, your NDI equipment, any of that stuff, if you're just going to forget about it two or three years later and say, oh, sorry, we changed it, it doesn't work anymore. Now you're going to have to put stickers on your board. Now your camera's not going to work the way it needs to work. Why would I purchase any hardware from you guys? I recommend, and this is just a warning for people with new tech, especially on the lower end, because hey, you know what? What kind of tech support do you have from new tech? Okay, if you don't, if you can't afford their premium, you know, pay me, million, you know, thousand dollars just so you can receive the courtesy of a phone call to troubleshoot any problems. Because the other issue I've had before I even upgraded, and I'm stupid for doing this because I've been burned twice by new tech. I hit their update. Twice I hit their update. Twice their up update crashed my system because the proper drivers weren't installed. Twice when I hit the update and it did a checker, it said everything was fine. And twice when I hit the update, I had to get on a chat and they gave me information on how to update graphics drivers and stuff like that, which was the wrong information by the way. It was outdated old information. Okay, so then finally I had to call the salesperson up to complain about how atrocious this is that when I, you have an update button on your software and you say everything's fine and ready to go and then you crash my system because the proper drivers aren't loaded, that's your fault. That's not my fault. It should be easy. Why did I pay 10, 11, 12, 15 grand for this whole system? And I, that, I know to maybe the big broadcasters out there, that's not a lot of money, but it's a lot of money for a public access station. It's a lot of money for people that buy this uh, system. We're buying the system because they've configured the hardware to work with the software that, are, that they're designing it for. Okay, this is their platform. And I, you think that the software that they provide for an update is going to take into account your system that you have and do it effectively. Okay, so I had to complain to the salesperson just to get somebody on the phone. Now, once I got someone on the phone, the person was great and was able to help me out, but why should I have to go through that? Why should I have to go through that? Paying this money for the system. I can build my own switcher system. I can get these components and do my own thing. The reason why I went through these guys is because I figured they built the system, they know the hardware, they're going to design the software that's going to work with the hardware. That's why I'm paying this money, okay? But unfortunately, that's not the case with new tech. Twice. Twice this has happened with an update. So stupid me is like, oh, you know what? I'm going to go with the upgrade. I'm going to, I'll do the upgrade. I'll pay the 960 bucks. They can't screw it up this time. They can't screw it up this time. Well, I'm a fool. I'm an idiot. I just wasted $965 for this crap. This is unacceptable. Look at that. Having to put stickers on a piece of hardware. Hey, man. Why don't you pay $2,500 for a brand new sw Surface switcher board? It's going to work perfectly with your hardware. Uh, but hey, you know what? Two years later, we're not going to give two craps about this, and you're going to have to put stickers on it. You're going to have to put tape and write your own things on it, and you're not going to be, it's not going to be able to, your software, we're not going to design software. We're just going to make this obsolete, so you have to pay more money or buy a new one. No, we're just going to burn you. We're just going to burn you. Look at that. Okay? You know, the other thing, too, was the PTZ feature here. The PTZ feature where they have speed controls where you can put in a preset. This is what I was, you know, I looked on the tutorial videos. However, their tutorial videos and their website's a mess. To get any information, it's all contradicting each other. It's not easy to figure this crap out, okay? They bury some of the, the bad stuff in the back of the manual, okay? But so they have a, the PTZ where you can hit medium fast and... You know, on the last tutorial, they're showing you how you can hit a preset, and then you hit the next preset for the zoom, and it's going to pan left and zoom slowly uh, based on these speed buttons. That's one of the reasons why that doesn't work. That does not work. What a joke. What a joke. And then, ha I mean, come on. I paid 965 bucks for features they're selling me on, okay, and it doesn't work. It bugs out. It bugs out because it can't recognize every, you know, the type of connection. It does. It recognizes the connection. It works fine. 
okay? There's nothing wrong with what I did. There's everything wrong with their software, okay? Oh, reinstall a driver. Here we go with drivers again. You're the one that designed the software. You're the one that designed the hardware. You should know the drivers that need to be put in here. You should know the drivers that already. I shouldn't have to worry about drivers. That's what I'm paying you for. I'm paying you for to give me a list of drivers. You should automatically have those drivers ready for me to go, to download, to reinstall, to give me the proper way to install and upgrade this system. Okay, but th this is just poor, this is just bad business right here. This is bad business, all right? And that's in for my rant. So hey, if you're a new tech customer and you're frustrated with, you know, you're not, you're not one of the high-end customers, you aren't paying up the wazoo for the premium, for the luxury to get someone on the phone, if you're like a small end community access television station or a small producer that's pr purchased this hardware and have c come upon the same problems, the same frustrations with updating software, please comment. Let's let them know that this is just unacceptable. You can't be putting out software and hardware and doing a crap ass job of integrating those two together where we constantly, I'm not going to upgrade anymore. I'm not going to upgrade. I'm not going to update. This is it. I am done. This is locked. Okay, don't even, you, you, you want customers to use your new features, you want customers to buy hardware, to feel confident when they buy hardware. What happens when I go for the $10,000 board? What, two or three years later, that board's not going to be, uh, I'm going to have to put stickers on that board, on the $10,000 board? I mean, I think the $10,000 board, I think it digitally displays the numbers, okay, but anyways, why would I be confident in buying any hardware from you guys? If, you, if, 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 if that hardware, you're just going to, uh, there's obsolescence. You're just two years later, two years later, you're just going to make, you're just going to design software that's going to make that hardware obsolete. Why? Why would I buy any of your cameras or any of your other additional hardware? Why would I invest that money if I know I'm going to have to do this? Look at that again. Let's, let's just show this. Let's just show how unacceptable that is. $2,500. So why would I even want to buy the $10,000 or the $12,000 or the $30,000 board? Why? If you can't even, if you can't even do a good job on your low-end $2,500 board, that just shows us, shows us that you don't give two craps. You don't care. Bye. So you, I hope the president, I hope all you sales guys, I hope you tech guys see this video and do a better job. If you're going to ask people for money for software, if we're going to have to pay for the hardware, this crap is unacceptable. It's one thing if the software was free. If the software was free, that's different. I really would, I sh there would be no complaining. Why? Because I, it was free. But when you have to pay for the software, this should not happen. These things should not happen. That's it.